Hey there, I'm excited to share with you a video of my recent trip to Acadia National Park in Maine. We left our home in Raleigh, North Carolina and headed up 95 going through many of the biggest cities of the East Coast. We did a pit stop in Boston to break up this 15 hour drive. We finally arrived at our campsite, which was 30 minutes away from Bar Harbor, the town that you have to go through to enter Acadia. We were surprised by the thick fog that greeted us. It was almost the thickest fog we've ever seen. It was actually beautiful in an eerie kind of way. We quickly set up our rooftop tent. The ease of popping the tent open is definitely one of the best things about this system. It really lets you focus on camping and not spend a lot of time fiddling with your gear. My husband got the fire going and then put some dinner on the stove while I was wrapping up our sleeping quarters. We relaxed for a bit, but got to bed early so we can start our adventure in the morning. We started early with a big breakfast so we'd have lots of energy for hiking throughout the day. I promise, packing up camp is not as hard as it looks. It takes about 40 minutes to get to Acadia from our campgrounds. You'll drive through the cute little town of Bar Harbor before getting there. So you can actually camp inside one of the four campgrounds inside the national park, and one of them being accessible only by mailboat from the mainland. Unfortunately for us, we planned this trip at the very last minute and all the campsites were fully booked. They also had reduced capacity due to COVID, which didn't exactly help either. First stop, the Beehive Loop, which is inside the Bull Trail. It's a relatively short hike at 1.5 miles, but the catch is that you'll be ascending granite staircases and rock scrambles. I would also like to suggest starting off at the left side of the trail so that you'll be climbing up instead of down the steep-ish ascents. But of course, if you want that added challenge, that could be something that you would want to do. Some of the more challenging parts do have iron rungs and ladders to help you climb. Hikers of this trail normally gets rewarded at the top with the gorgeous views of the main coastline. But unfortunately for us, it was such a foggy and misty day that we were not able to see any of that. It did however help with my anxiety over heights. Still see nothing. Can confirm. On the way down, you'll reach the bowl part of the trail. I imagine it to be really serene and pretty on a non-misty day. 
It was still serene, but in a very eerie way, which is not such a bad thing. Remember earlier I said that this was a relatively short hike? We decided to continue on to the Champlain South Ridge Trail when we came across it. There was much less people on it that day. According to AcadianationalPark.com, ocean views await you at the top of Champlain Mountain. You can catch a glimpse of the nesting peregrine falcons and an active beaver pond as well. You can bring your binoculars so you can see porpoises and seals and perhaps some whales in Frenchman Bay. Again, we sadly didn't see any of this because of the mist and the fog. Maybe next time. After that hike, we found ourselves where we began at Sand Beach. I did get in the water, just my feet, just to see how cold the water was. It was pretty freaking cold. <laughs> we got back to camp later in the afternoon, early evening-ish. John got the fire going and I made dinner, just some protein pasta and sausage bowls. We hung out in front of the fire for a bit before calling it a night, just talking but mostly being quiet and relaxing after a day of hiking. The next day, we woke up really early, as in 3 o'clock in the morning early. Yep. Why do this to ourselves, you ask? One of the main things to do in Acadia is to watch the sunrise on top of Cadillac Mountain. doesn't look like a mountain top. <sighs> it's because I didn't realize we needed a reservation to drive up to Cadillac. John has forgotten to mention this bit to me and as this was a last minute trip, that's kind of what happens. We ended up driving down to Sand Beach instead, which was just as well since we probably wouldn't have seen much up there with all the fog. Again. The day didn't start off too well, but nothing that a cup of coffee and a hefty breakfast in Bar Harbor can't fix. No shots of the food though, we wolfed it down and walked around the town while there's nobody around. It was pretty nice to walk around town when it's not crowded, which it normally is. I was wondering what this means, women in period costume facing away at this bookstore. And then I was like, oh, okay, every single one of these books has a woman in period costume facing away. Just so we're clear. <laughs> Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. After a morning stroll around town, we headed back to the park to do another hike. This time, the Beach Cliff Ladder and Canada Cliff Loop. This was only two miles long, but again made challenging by climbing ladders, and since it has been misting the past couple of days, everything was muddy and wet. Feeling that I could ever dare to dream is you forever moving next to me. Let's not waste time. Oh, take this. As 
yesterday when Tom the fog cleared and this time we were fortunate enough to enjoy the views that surrounded us. To the simplest truth You and I as one will always be better than It was pretty cool to see the fog all the way out there. Their colors changing like the times. And I'm taking. All the while thinking how great it would be that after the end of this hike, we'd be able to go down in the water and cool off a bit. For the rest of my life. Let's not waste time or take this slow. You got my behind us for miles to go so let's just break this down to the simplest truth you and I as one will always be better than two Take this slow, we've got miles behind us, but miles to go, so let's just break this down to the simplest truth. After lounging for a while at Echo Lake Beach, we headed back to Bar Harbor to get some amazing drone shots. Enjoy! and realizing we still have a bit of time before getting early dinner, we decided to go to Wonderland. This trail was recommended to us by our camp neighbors and was literally two minutes away from our camp. It is a 1.4 mile easy hike, so easy I was able to do it in flip-flops. <laughs> This trail is great for everybody, including doggos, and great for bird watching and tide pooling during low tide. Also, it's fun jumping on the rocks, the dry ones that is. to Thurston's Lobster Pound to get us a proper taste of some Maine lobster. We really do need to get better at shooting our food. We did, however, get some shots of the fishing boats zipping by as we enjoyed our food and drinks before calling it a night. Before making our drive back home, we stopped by Cadillac Mountain. We were able to secure a car pass the day before, but we opted to not do the sunrise time slot. We can't be waking up at 3 a.m. two days in a row after all. They definitely were not kidding when they say it is a must-see in Acadia. The views were stunning. 
I couldn't have thought of a better way to end our trip. We will definitely be back for sure. Maybe in the fall next time. Thanks for watching.